Hey you guys, it's MJ and welcome back to Pet Adventures again. Good morning guys! So today we're not really doing anything special because I don't really have much again. Uh, I will uh, share some things with you guys. I do have to clean my mouse cage and mostly I'll probably just be hanging out with the pets. Like I said, don't got much going on right now. And I'm going to click on my coffee here. Can't live without my coffee. Uh, let's see what's in store for me today. I may get some packages today. I really don't know. Um, I am expecting one either today or tomorrow. I'm not really sure. But um, to, uh, yesterday, uh, last night to be exact, I was actually looking through some really cool stuff. What you doing? Uh, I actually found some old stuff, so I thought this was pretty cool that I would share with you guys. These are reptile magazines, and I got these for my job a long time ago. So, that reptile magazine, and this one, it's really cool. And then, I also shop at Foster, Dr. Foster and Smith, which are some of you guys too. It's really great for your small animal stuff. I get a lot of my rat stuff from here. And, um, then, I was looking through some stuff, and I found my old calendar. Look at that. My old snake's calendar, 2015. So, let's see if we can look through some of this. Oh, that's a pretty cool one. And then we have this one, January, February. Ooh, that's like one of my favorites. Look at that. This is March. This is a rough scaled uh, bush viper. Yeah, the vipers are like the most beautiful snakes on earth. But uh, you can't really own them. So, because these are bad. Well, they're not bad, but you know. Not good for us. This is April, another viper. Oh, that is a beautiful uh, rattlesnake. It says black tailed rattlesnake. That's May, June. Kind of looks like a. Oh, it's a blood python. Cool. I like this one. This is grass snake. Pretty cute. Oh, how cute. This is Cape Coral Snake, August. <laughs> Just going through all of them. September. It's called a Lance Head. So, huh. what? Ah, that looks like another Viper to me. I don't know. Oh no, it says Copperhead. Awesome. October. November. Yellow Stripe Snake. Pretty cute. That's really cute. <laughs> and corn snake. I know that without even looking, right? Yeah, it's a corn snake. And that's December. Oh, perfect for December. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. At one point, I got a little snake calendar. I think it's pretty cute. <laughs> and then over here, I also have my reptile uh, book. I didn't just find this. I've always known where this is, but like, I thought I would kind of show you guys. It's kind of a fun thing to look at. Um, they have all kinds of reptiles in here, so wild and non-wild, chameleon. So, I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, this is one of my favorite lizards. Look at this. Hold on. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, don't you just love them? They're frilled dragons. Super cute. They're these little dragons that, like, run on two legs, and they look like they're from Jurassic Park. Very pretty. <laughs> yeah, but... I don't know. If you're ever really looking into reptiles and you find one that you like, you can always see there's one you really like. There's one in here that I really, really like, and you can't own it. Was that a Euromastix? Yeah, no, that looks like a Euromastix to me. Those are like one of my favorites. I really want to own them. Water Dragon. So yeah, lots of cool stuff in there. We have a, I forget, is it is that a Green Tree Python or an Emerald Boa? I always get them mixed up, so let me know in the comments. Hey, what you doing? What you doing, huh? Hey, get out of here with that nasty shit. Oh, no, 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 I was just kidding. It's okay. <laughs> no hard feelings, huh?
By the way, you guys, if you're looking into, like, what kind of reptile I'm going to buy in the future, this will probably happen when I get, like, a bigger place that other people don't live in. Because I currently live in a house where, like, I don't have that much freedom because, like, you know, this whole house I don't own. I live with other people. So, um, but when I get my own, um, my own house and I can put whatever I want in it, this is by far on my top five of the pets that I'm going to get. Blue tongue skinks are awesome. I don't know why more people don't buy them. I think personally they're just as awesome as bearded dragons. Um, they can even, like, they can't even run away from you. Um, because they have such tiny legs. Like, they can, but not very well. Um, they resemble, like, a huge snake. They're, they do have a specific diet. There's a lot of things you have to feed them, like cat food and fresh fruits, fresh, fresh veg, a lot of stuff. Um, so it is a specific diet. And, uh, you need eggs for protein, all kinds of stuff. But, I think they're just adorable. I've, I've hung out with some in the past, and I just love them to death. Super affectionate once you, um, really, uh, hung, hang out with them enough. And I'm just saying, like, this is, like, definitely on my top, like, five of the pets I would get. So when I do move out, and I probably will move out because you guys are helping me get successful, which means I can make this my living, my job, and then my boyfriend, um, you know, He's already working really well, and he gets pretty decent-ish money, so all we have to do is get me working, <laughs> and uh, and we're set, so wish us luck. But, um, yeah, so let's look through here. Let's get you peas. Ooh, little bearded dragon there. What is that, insect line? Oh. More beardies. Ew, surgery or something. Bigfoot or something. I don't know why that makes sense. Oh, cute little snake. He's eating. Huh? What do you think you're doing? Look at her. Do you have any consideration? Do you do you want to be nice or do you want to just you know you're going to sit on there without even asking me? That's okay. Lucy. That's pretty cool. Oh, look, blue tongue skink. They go through some of the, the care and stuff. and So you can see them munching down on like a papaya or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm also getting the white one. I'm not getting the normal one, you guys. Look at this. She just sits down on my magazine that I'm already reading. Get it off. Get it off. Okay. Yeah, but see, that's that's what a normal one kind of looks like. Look at that blue tongue. <laughs> it's cute. Um, but I'm going to get the white one. It's like technically the albino one. Oh, it's pretty cool. Lots of cool stuff in here. Ooh, what is that? Like a salamander? Oh, it's a newt. Yeah. More newts. Very cool. More newts. Oh, that must be the eggs. Nice. Look at that ball python. That is super cute. I don't even, I don't remember seeing this morph. This is an interesting morph. Huh. I wonder if they have the name for that one. I doubt it. Crash Course in Genetics. Neat. Ooh, and look, here's the black one. I've seen the black one before at uh, Repticon. It's a little girl with a snake. Pretty cool. <laughs> look at that. Bearded dragon and then a leopard gecko. Leopard gecko looks bigger than the bearded dragon, which is kind of funny. Oh, pretty cool. I'm not going to go through all these, but... um. See, we got cool stuff for Dr. Smith, uh, Fosters and Smith. Ferret stuff. Yeah. Oxbow. Great stuff. Hamster stuff. Oh, I love those cages. We got another reptile one here. Oh, it'll be me. Oh, and I love these. We actually have these everywhere in my, in here in Florida, we have these running all over the place, basilisks. Aren't they beautiful? They're considered the Jesus Christ lizard. Good dragon. Oh, I love those. They're so cute. 
handled those before. Um, they're the little like fire fire skinks or something like that. Oh, I think that's another viper there maybe. Oh, look at that basilisk. Beautiful. And that's what the brownish ones look like right there. So cute. Yeah, that's usually what I see. I would get the green one though, obviously. <laughs> look at all these basilisks. That's cute. Whoa, super pretty snake. Holy crap. Look at that red. Another one. Oh, that's beautiful. Another basilisk up there. A monkey. Oh, so pretty. Oh, is that a hog nose? Yeah, looks like a hog nose. Super duper cute. More hog nose. Hog noses have like the cutest little faces. I heard they musk really badly though. So I don't know. They have the super cute faces though. Look at your little faces. So I have the boys here with me on my bed. And I'm just letting you guys know this is something that I do almost on a daily basis. Just about most of the time I do this. Um, I don't know if you guys are doing this with your rats. But this is really something everyone should be doing. Um, I don't know if you're okay with it. But it is something that I think you should kind of just try to adjust to. Um, cause you know, I knew, I know that rats do pee a lot. Some rats pee more than others. For instance, Charlie here, he hardly ever pees. He's just licking me. <laughs> He's a huge suck up. So, um, his brother's in there too. Oscar. Oscar. Oscar doesn't want to show himself. They're both scared. <laughs> yeah, but this is, this is something you guys really should be doing with your rats. Um, take it to at least 30 minutes to an hour. Every morning, as soon as you wake up, take your rats out of the cage and just let them snuggle with you in the bed. Um, let them do their own thing. You don't, you know, you don't rush them into it, especially if they're brand new. Make sure you have covers because if you don't have covers, they're going to be very, very scared. As you can see, they like to hide here. And then once they've been in here for an hour uh, to 30 minutes, they usually start opening up and then, then they just kind of, you know, play around. Let's see if one of them will come out. Nope. Maybe. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? <laughs> you see, he gets... Charlie is much uh, braver than Oscar, so <laughs> he's getting excited. Um, yeah, but this is something you guys should be doing. I don't know if you if you know that, but... Um, 30 minutes to an hour every morning or whatever morning you can, they're playing around in there. What are you guys doing? Cut it out. Cut it out. Come here. Little fat butt. Let's see, he gets real scared. So, and also, like I said, make sure you have covers because then, you know, they get really scared and, you know, they're sweet babies. But uh, something you are going to be have to prepare for is you're going to have to wa uh, most likely wash your sheets a lot when you do this. Um, you know, because what they do is they just, they tend to pee. Um, Charlie actually never pees. Hey, baby. Charlie literally never pees, I'm telling you. But, um, Oscar and especially Lucky pees all the time. Um, Oscar is minimal, I would say, but Charlie hardly ever does it. Yeah, you guys, just keep, keep trying to do this with your rats if you ever can. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Charlie. He always wants to jump on his cage over there. Oh, Charlie, get back here.
Okay guys, so I thought that I would kind of share with you how Phoenix's setup is looking. This is basically the finished look right here. Um, so we have this mulch. Uh, so far so good, I'm liking it. And um, so I'm going to give like a very tiny cage tour. This isn't like a lot, but I thought I would kind of show you guys the finished look. And along the way, maybe every now and then I'll add something, but this is basically what I'm sticking with. So, okay, so in the corner, we have his wood here. This is something that I've had for a long time. I've had this little wood here for him. Um, but I kind of have it just in the corner there. Um, and, you know, so he can kind of like, uh, you know, get up on there and climb. Uh, a lot of people will tell you that ball pythons are ground snakes. I mean, they are, but they still like to climb every now and then. Keep in mind, they are still snakes. So... Um, and we finally got him some bigger hides. <laughs> we have a pretty large hide for his hot side and his cool side, and he absolutely loved it. I have some footage that I'm going to show you guys uh, overlaying this of him enjoying his brand new setup. So we have this hide over here. It's a nice little bark hide. And right over here, and as you guys know, I have the cypress mulch, the forest floor uh, bedding right here. As you guys know, I got that in. And then we just have his water bowl on the side and his heat mat underneath. Um, and also along with this, I will be getting in a thermometer that will show the humidity and the temperature in the cage. So I'll be getting that very soon. Well, not too soon, probably like next month, but <laughs> either way. So that's his cage tour. I know it's not much, but... This is like a basic ball python setup that you could try if you wanted to. It should be fine, but this is just kind of my own preference. I really like this, and so far it's done him no harm. And by the way, underneath his hot side, um, I have paper towel underneath the bedding. So, because I was afraid that maybe he would kind of dig up, like kind of dig up some of the bedding area and come in complete contact with the heat mat. I don't know if that would happen, but... Just to be safe, I put some paper towel on the hot side area, and then I put the bedding over that. So, that's about it, you guys. So, if you do want to use this setup, it should be completely fine. And, um, yeah, so just let me know what you think. So, I got my veggies for the rats, like, kind of defrosting right now. What I do is I just put all of these in the bowl without the water in the microwave. I heat that up for one minute. And then I put some fresh water in there and I don't use any tap water I use distilled because you gotta remember that water is getting on the vegetables uh, distilled or spring purify whatever just so it's not tap water and uh, uh oh I accidentally got a corn piece in here uh, I'll probably take that out maybe maybe I, they can have one but yeah just so you guys know they're not really supposed to be having corn I take out all the corn pieces um, uh, but I do let them have the carrots, the peas, the green beans. All that stuff is really great for them. So, especially the peas and green beans. Those are really great. They love eating this. So, uh, this is probably really cold right now. Yeah, it is. So, then I just drain all the water out and I give them their veggies. I know. What is it, huh? What is it? What is it? <gasps> is it this? Is it this? Oh, no. So excited. So excited. Over here, over here, over here. Come on. <laughs> yeah, get it. <laughs> Move your butt so everyone can see. Alright, so I just put their veggies in there. They're excited. <laughs> I mean, they're excited over anything they get, but... They're excited! Yeah, so Igor does this weird thing where, like... I don't know, all of a sudden he wants to eat fish. So... He, is, he gets really excited and, I don't know, he just, he hates the fish or he either wants to eat them. Either way, whatever, he's, he's a dumb shit sometimes. Anyways, um, um, so I fed him. I, I, well, he hasn't eaten yet, but I gave him a new bowl of worms. So, I tried to hand feed him and record that, but he has this weird thing where, like, when he's on camera, he can't eat in front of me. I don't know. It's a weird thing that, for some reason, only he has other... Other lizards don't seem to have this problem. Let me know if your lizard gets really weird and shy and like, I don't know, like when the camera goes on because when I try to record Igor ever eating, it's really hard because he gets shy and he gets scared and he's like, oh, don't look at me while I eat. 
like honestly we can't even look at him while he eats sometimes like that's how crazy he is he's got like problems anyways um <laughs> when he starts eating out of his new bowl of worms uh, i'll record it Oh, he likes to get on his little pride rock. Acts like he's Lion King or something. Freaking Mufasa lizard. Yeah, I'm sure you guys don't don't can't tell or anything, but his tail used to look so much worse, I'm telling you. Like it looked like it was rotting and now it just looks like regular skin. So that's really good. So it is late. And Lucky Ducky, whoop, sorry, that's my chair. And uh, Lucky Ducky is getting some uh, some time on the bed too, so he gets excited. Come on, Lucky. Come on. Come on. Come on, Lucky. Yeah, he gets excited. He likes doing it. So yeah, Mr. Lucky is getting some time on the bed. Come here, Lucky. Come here, Lucky. Good boy. I know. Yeah. He gets excited. <laughs> Just grooming himself. <laughs> what a fat panda. Okay, you guys, so I think I'm ending this vlog here. Uh, there was some other stuff I wanted to show you guys, but this vlog is long enough as it is. I didn't think it was going to be that long. But leave me a comment down below letting me know uh, what pet you're getting for Christmas or what pet you think you might be getting for Christmas. Um, I'll see you guys later. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this uh, video a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!